Hey guys, welcome back. I have some really exciting news to share with you guys. I recently got my US citizenship. USA, USA. And if you were to tell me nine years ago that I was going to fall in love with an American and relocate my entire life to the US, I would probably laugh and tell you hell no. <laughs> But I'm so glad that past me was wrong, because here I am, enjoying life. So to celebrate the significant event, I wanted to make something fun and then share it with you guys. The US Citizenship and Immigration Services gave me this cute flag on the day of my oath ceremony. So I had the idea of making a mechanical gear system that holds the flag and waves it in a figure 8 motion. So in order to start making this gear system, I googled gear system for figure 8 motion and found this really interesting blog post on Instructables. Lucky for me, this guy detailed all the ratios and configurations that I needed to build this gear system. I highly recommend checking this post out. I'll add a link to it in the description. So once I had all the particulars, I started 3D modeling the gears. Fusion 360 has a really useful plugin that helps you make spur gears. I then copied the gear to make a second gear and added a bevel gear system to the bottom. I followed this YouTube tutorial when I made the bevel gears. You can find a link to it in the description. The larger bevel gear is attached to the bottom of one of the spur gears and the small bevel gear is the driver gear for the whole system. I then made the base and the crank handle that rotates the small bevel gear. Once I was happy with the design, I 3D printed and assembled the device. The first prototype had a few issues. The gears weren't making full contact all the time and were skipping teeth. The flag holder wasn't staying in place and kept shifting side to side. And the crank handle was wobbling a bit instead of rotating smoothly. So in order to fix these issues, I adjusted the gear center holes so that the gears would fit more snugly on the shafts. Made the gears thicker so that there would be more surface area for them to make full contact. Made one of the arms and the flag holders one piece so that it wouldn't keep shifting side to side anymore. Lengthened the crank handle and added an extra loop to stabilize the rotation of the handle more. And here is the final result. And I'm proud to be an American where at least I know I'm free. Anyway guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. If you are an American, I hope this made you feel proud to be an American. Comment down below if it did. Like and subscribe and I'll catch you in the next one. Bye!